Hey everybody, David the AI Guide here. Happy Tuesday. And we're still talking about AI and robots. And there's a slew of robots coming on the market that are already out there. For example, I saw one in Stop and Shop and it started following me around the grocery store. And that was a strange experience the first time. It was a kiosk that could help you find things, but I think it also was looking for shoplifting. <laughs> Um, and so robots can fill a variety of roles in a retail space. Another example is the Lobot at Lowe's that helps you find something. And uh, once you ask the robot for it, it'll take you to it. And another one is Target has tested a robot called Simbi, which they have not rolled out yet. Uh, but soon you'll see probably see a robot in Target stores doing the same things, helping you find stuff because those stores are so massive and looking for shoplifting and stuff like that. And a lot of these inventory, these uh, robots like Simbi take inventory. The Lobot takes inventory. Simbi will take inventory. So it will keep the shelves fully stocked as well as taking you to find what you're looking for and making sure you're not stealing, probably. Um, a final robot that's very, very cool that I saw at the Applied AI conference in San Francisco in 2018, before COVID and all this stuff, uh, was SoftBank's Pepper robot. And this robot is really cute. And at the time they were demoing it, it could say hi to you. It could ask you what you were looking for. This has started to hit retail stores. So when you walk in, Pepper knows you if you've been there before. It remembers the last thing you bought and it'll say, hey, by the way, did you like uh, what you bought last time? Why don't you buy this? It goes with it. That's salesmanship. So uh, all of these robots are driven by AI, right? Because A, they have to get around without bumping into people or objects. They're taking inventory, so they're identifying what a product is and counting it and reporting that back. And they're helping customers find things, so they have to know where something is in a store and how to get there from where they are. All of that's AI. So as I said at the start of this segment, AI and robotics, AI and robotics go hand in hand. This is huge and this is nothing. Uh, we talked a little bit last time about robots in the home uh, that are at a very early stage now and uh, will be uh, a true housekeeper one day. <laughs> um, and probably affordable. Once they sell uh, 100,000 units, the price comes way down. So uh, this is the exponential cost and performance curve, right? Price performance curve. Um, as volume ramps up, the price falls exponentially and it goes from being a pure luxury item for the very wealthy to being something that anyone can afford. A very great example of that is uh, LED TVs that used to be very, very expensive and now are dirt cheap. So next time we'll talk a little more about robotics and finish that up. And then we'll go into our next industry segment. Take care.